we are watching battle rappers that we feel are slept on. Yes. And yes. Uh, so we're going through a list. We picked like our top 10 most slept on battle rappers, and we're going to watch one round from each of them. And uh, I have no idea what, what EK picked. He has no. no idea what I picked. And so we're going to kind of just uh, we're gonna just look at the, the battle rappers that don't get the recognition that we feel like they deserve. And people that like, uh, I don't know, people that most battle rap fans probably haven't heard of before. Yes. Um, I haven't so. even heard of the, this is episode number two. Nine, which means yes, We're yes. going to do the, our, our ninth pick. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I've never heard of who Anderson showed me on number 10, which was Wreak Havoc. Re- Havoc. I yeah. haven't even heard of him. So I'm hoping that there's going to be more gems even I find yeah. in this shit. Yeah. All right. So you're going first this time, man. Right, um, lost the coin who toss? you got? Yeah. All right. You know this person. Um, this was, uh, you know, the West Coast has a like a thing of claiming anybody who's in the Northwest. Anything that's like not past Texas, we just yeah. claim as West Coast. <laughs> Um, have you heard of Mr. Biscuit? Oh my gosh, yeah. I was Fuck so yeah. close to putting right. that. Yeah, which, <laughs> right, which, no. which battle? Let's do CJA. Okay. Is CJA oh, battle? Oh man, yeah. This um, is... I've, I, you know, I, have, I haven't said two words to Mr. Biscuit. We were on one card together in Colorado where he battled Danny, where he wilded out too. Mm-hmm. But like, in terms of, if anyone who really knows me knows I'm not like a lyric heavy person, which kind of surprises people. Random people will meet me and be like, you must be like a real purist hip hop nigga. I'm like, no. I listen to Shotgun Shug most of the time. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Yeah. So I'm not like really big into the pen pen people. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just because like I, I really watch the stuff I'm not capable of doing, you know? Mm-hmm. But this is the one exception. You know, Mr. Biscuit's pen to me where I'm like, everybody punches now, but that's a, there's a couple types of punches where I'm like, there's some punches where I'm like, I, I, I could have thought of that. I'm jealous I didn't get to that punch. And then Mr. Biscuit punches in a way where I'm like, I never would have even thought of yeah. that. I never would have thought of that scheme, never would have thought about that name flip. And he's just like, I don't know, he's one of the dudes that I, I would assume, uh, forgive me if anyone gets offended by this, but like sometimes URL likes to wrap their hands around maybe more of a street something something. Like me, yeah, exactly. Like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you, bro. Yeah. Like you and T Top. Yeah. But um, yeah. you and T Top are the same. Yeah. <laughs> same same thing. recruiting class yeah. is insane. But and I guess sometimes you get rappers like this that maybe fall through the cracks and don't get embraced by URL because they have a lot of talented artists and if you don't maybe have like a certain look. I don't know, I'm all guessing. I shouldn't put this out there without even saying it. But Mr. Biscuit's pen, I think, is like a top probably twenty pen in battle rap, and I'm mm-hmm. not sure where he gets enough um, enough recognition for. What's your experience with him, bro? Yeah, we were in the same crucible class. Is that right? Yeah. So like and and we're both uh, Lex Luthor's pick um, no for shit. the Crucible. I Lex, believe. you just make hits all day. Lex yeah. is just like in the lab, just making stars yeah. all the time. Yeah. Uh, um, and so, uh, so Mr. Biscuit, I'm still mad that he did not get a bigger push in URL because I'm pretty sure I'm almost positive that he is undefeated on the app still. Is he? And every time he's battled, he just he shut it down. Um, he's been incredible. Um, he didn't make the top six, which I was really surprised hmm. with. I think I think names like literally your name does matter to a certain extent yeah um i think that that might have might have hurt him a little bit um but i mean he's like the epitome of like just every time he battles i'm like oh my gosh like he's just he's absolutely incredible um and uh he was one of my honorable mentions uh but i, I kind of oh, assumed, i stole it from you huh yeah yeah i kind right. of I kind of assumed we both uh like Land on yeah yeah Mr. so Mr. which which round of this are we watching First. okay jv you did it was yeah. like four track again, so Shout out to Westworld, uh, G Will, Don Nino, um, hey, we are- Dev, Rum. Their Westworld's been booming the last year and a half, and they've been really grinding to put on good events for the West, man. It's, and this was a really good one. All right. I think so. he raps first. Okay. We get the coin toss. I know what it is. Also, I'm going to say this a billion times. Ne- there's no reason to show a coin toss. There's never, ever, ever a reason to show a coin toss. I get so angry every single time. And I'm like, dude, why? Just cut straight to it. I've there's never no thought about reason. That. There's no re- Unless someone catches it in the air and does something cool with it, there's zero reason to put it in ever. I get so frustrated with that. I, I just, need more of this. From yeah, yeah, I think yeah. This, it gets me we so need, mad. We need to, this is a different segment for this show yeah. called Anderson's uh, Annoying Corner. <laughs> I got a lot Anderson's of Anderson's Annoying Corner. I Why do they show the coin flip? I have no idea. I've never seen a battle fan at home being like, heads or tails. Yeah, yeah. It was a really good battle. I just wish they showed the coin flip, you know? <laughs> Fuck, I, that's man. like, I mean, it's like, what coin were they using? Who called what? Like, those things matter. And I think a lot of it is just they want to show the host, like, because the oh. host sometimes like the league owners, so they want to like be like, yo, what's up? Because they want to be in it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking no matter. No one's right. watching it for you. Like, I don't care. Skip so, the coin toss. Yeah. Christian Jacob is about to give y'all a master class. He's a man of action. He about to show y'all these attributes like projection, power, passion. Christian Jacob about to give y'all three rounds of astounding rapping 
and get thirded in the polls and have no idea how it happened. <laughs> Listen, Christian, Thanks. the danger's real. Any bar that you may reveal is a seatbelt on an airplane. You're not as safe as they make you feel. <laughs> That's a slogan. Yeah. You think you're different because they call you different in the Twitter spaces. I think I'm different because mama told me act normal when we win in places. I came on stage. Dude, that's such a, such a great, that's such a great, just everything about that. That's exactly what you were saying. Whatever it's like, no like, wordplay. It's not no no wordplay, but it still is like there's like there's like a it's, a it's still a battle rappy way of saying that where it's like just. It's just so perfect. It's like it's so relatable, and it's like you understand. I don't know. I I love it. I love it's such a great fucking yeah. punch. And and like for all the things that do get played out in battle rap, the you're this, I'm this mm-hmm. never gets played out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you went like this, I went like this, and never the this or that never gets played out. And that's a perfect example of. I it. also love how he started off by saying like like this is all the things he's gonna do. Like I like it when someone will like cause it shows that they've thought about their opponent and they thought about the way they're gonna be approaching this battle. Yeah. And then and I like I like like he'll do all this, get thirty, and have no. Idea. It just it just it paints a really good picture of like I'm so confident that you're gonna do really well, and I'm still gonna thirty it you. Won't it won't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna know how. Five. It's great. Just to rip you I, off. Miss, Mr. Biscuit, you're wilding with the undercover cop hat, though. With no <laughs> emblem on it. That's like what Tony wow. Stark wears in like Avengers when he's trying to pee. <laughs> yeah. Have any emblem, bro. Yeah. I don't know what the emblem is, but the blank hat. It's literally. a dad hat. It's it, a very yeah. dad hat. This yeah. thing is lost prevention at like George's yeah. room. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I need an emblem. Oh, maybe there's something, but I can't see shit. <laughs> The source in the building? You yeah. think you different because they call you different in the Twitter spaces. Right. I think I'm different because mama told me act and normal when we win in places. Right. I came on stage just to rip you off like Senate races. Right. Right. Stomp you like Kirk Franklin and still remain one of Christian's favorites. Right. Get on the... You in the Matrix. Hold up. You in the Matrix, Whitey. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. I'm Waffle House after the club close. I really get busy. Just be committed to the country. It's it's so good. Watch this. What is this? Let's go. Let's rap. Go, Biscuit. You in the Matrix, Whitey. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. I'm Waffle House after the club close. I'll really get busy. Just be committed when you punch me. That fist better clip me, because I'm a needle to a junkie. It's risky to miss me. Listen, CJA may, hold up. CJA may need a CNA for testing me. He'll lose so much DNA, y'all might CJ asymmetric. If B ain't safe, then B may blaze the weaponry. Right. Now his brain to be on this kid, re- telepathy. Right. Oh. Oh. What? Right. Oh. Right. Projection crazy too. Yeah. Now his brain to be on this kid break telepathy. When I'm in the spot, the air thicker. How dare Wiggers? Dumb struck by the Smith and he thought Jada has the hair trigger. If you Facebook something, make wow, assumptions the or make the that. face like you're trying to fake the gumption. The K I'm busting to do CJ8 disgusting right. without entertaining a second thought like a faithful husband. Right. Listen, <sighs> miss me with the rude behavior. I came to do this goof a favor. Right. The rest is cap. On God, I was bred to snap. Communion wafer. Ouch. Telling him to say it with his chest. God. 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 This can't go. Miss me with the rude behavior. Uh I came to do this goof a favor. Uh The rest is cap. Oh God, I was bred to snap. Communion wafer. Telling him to say it with his chest gonna put this dude in danger. All that bass can graduate to a trumpet, son. I'm a music major. Y'all want him to fight back, but he too inadequate too. And I know his heart beats battle rap. Inadequate too. Let the pick on the stick. God, that's so good. It's so good. It's so simple and so it's not he didn't build it up to a punch, it's just so simple. It's so simple. <laughs> you know, too. Mr. Biscuit, thing that people don't understand is he's been rapping, he's been battling for like like twelve years. Has he? Yeah, there's there's like he was on grind time. No shit. He was on grind time. Same name? Yeah, same exact name. What the he's been fuck? doing this forever. And and like his style hasn't changed much, but it's been it's one of those timeless type of things where like like you can even kind of hear it in the way he's like rapping and delivering. Yeah, he's very multi-focused, and it like it really like kind of guides like what he's gonna be saying. But it's so good that it's it just I don't know. Like, I could listen to this it, nonstop. It's a good point because yes, maybe this style of rapping maybe was trendier earlier, mm-hmm. 
and maybe it's gone to like more talky rap and battle rap, but it's it's proof that like if you stick to it and it's pure, people will come back to it. I yeah. think like a good testament of that is Big K. Yeah. Like five years ago, people were like, Big K fell off. Big K fell off. And now the kid's booming and he hasn't done anything different. Yeah. His style yeah. has stayed the same. It's just like, it's so good and mm-hmm. so solid the way he sets everything up in his delivery. It's like, you guys are going to come back to it when you're ready, bro. Yeah. When you're done with the trends, you'll appreciate how I rap now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but it seems like this is happening with Biscuit, you know? Yeah. But also, I think he's, he's, he's added in enough new things. Like, because that, that, like, that, and that equipped too, like, that Crazy. that's something that wasn't around early Hell in the day. No. Like that simple, like you were talking about, that really simple, just like brutal. I don't know if it's like wordplay. It's just mm-hmm. really cool. Like that's something where he's like incorporating it. So I think the key to doing what he does, as far as like career wise, of like being this good for this long, is being able to do what you've started off doing, but then find new things to incorporate into your rounds. To just make it. I don't know. Like it's it's such a good performance, man. Damn just good. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want him to fight back when he's too inadequate too. Right. And I know his heart beat battle rap. Inadequate too. Leather grip on a stick so my hand don't cramp when I shoot. It's not only the nickel, son. My can handle the truth. <laughs> you wouldn't try lurking. You wouldn't try lurking. You way too bright. My eyes hurting. Uh-huh. I'm a nice person, but I can't go out. I got a defined purpose, non-surface. They'll find you with your chain smoking and think you died nervous. You know the only way this going to This is momentum punching too, man. It's how like a six out of a 10 becomes an eight out of a 10. Yeah. You said a six out of 10 New before. Slogan. Yeah. I time traveled to land here. My next birthday is last year. Think invisible, man. You got them wraps off, hats off. Now stand clear. Gosh. I came to turn goats into coats, and you a cashmere. Rap. Even his like slogans. Yeah. Cause he has a slogan at the beginning. Is a seatbelt on a plane. You're not as safe as you make you feel. Then that's how he ends his rounds. But, bro, I feel like a, a an old hip hop head wearing an LRG shirt right now because I love his lyricism. But, yeah. Like, but. But pen wise, bro, like he just doesn't get talked about enough. And he's one of those artists that I look at. I'm like, do you guys know about Mr. Biscuit? Like, have you seen a Mr. Biscuit battle? Like, and I can see why if rap's more about image. Yeah. That, you know, he's not more popular. But if it's just about performance stuff like this, bro, he's fucking nasty, yeah. bro. He's yeah. Nasty. Um, okay. So, uh, Mr. Biscuit, absolutely fire. I think I'm going to actually call an audible on this. I'm going to actually bring in someone from the honorable mentions. I'm going to, yeah. cause I think a really good comparison from Mr. Biscuit um, would be Fresco. I don't think that Fresco gets the. Do you think he's underrated? Do you think he's, he's get the he gets he's, he's slept on? Can we save space here at the slept on show? Yeah, this is one of the names that I hear a lot that I probably have never watched a battle from. Holy cow! Is he a white guy? Yes, it's because yes. of my racism. I yes, yes. Well, you know that's okay. I can. You know, that's all right. Uh, There's a lot of white dudes I haven't listened to. Yeah, well, that's well, you you picked the right person, man. I got <laughs> <You're> the plug. <laughs> I'm the plug. I'm the plug for us, man. I got it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Holy cow! You've not seen fresh. Okay, this is. I, I'm sorry, Fresco. This makes you like I'm the sorry, whitest, my fault, whitest battle rap fan ever. But you haven't seen the Soros first Fresco, bro. It is crazy. They play this at Hollister, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, bro. This is. This is a, it's, it, it, and actually, ironically, um, Mr. Biscuit and Fresco battled like twelve years ago on Grind Time. It's it's wild. But okay, Fresco's this another. Recent? This is back to basics. This so is uh, yeah, it's eight. Wow, eight years ago. Holy uh, cow! I've that's been what watching. Oh my was? gosh, I've been doing battle rap so long. We should have been fucking accountants. What are we I, doing? Dude, we're oh my god, fuck, man, oh. why are we watching battle rap? Oh, still? all my friends have kids, dude. Like I have, no, I have nothing. I don't even know what the four K is exactly. I got, it's like, I got. It's like EK just bought a house. Like cool. P just called me for Civil War. Three. Yeah, at least, at least you're saying that, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm calling P. Like, please get me on there. <laughs> Listen, man, my friends have kids. I just got to be on. Please. Give me Yoshi G on, on band, please. I'm all One I'm asking rounder. for. I'll, yeah, all well, I'm doing. Our friend yeah. brought a Rambler. Yeah. Three, three bedrooms. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. Growing up, I only listened to street shit uh-huh. in, in, in terms of battle rap. Yeah. And I felt, this is completely invalidated, so don't, don't aggregate this, but I always felt there was a little bit of... Uh, racist undertones about this side of KOTD not embracing battle rap URL style of battle rap. Mm. And I attributed that to racism. I think that's un- 
I would say that's unfair because I never had that conversation with anybody. It's completely unfounded. But I always felt like, oh, we don't use gun lines. So like we rap different. I'm like, oh. And so I always gravitated towards URL. Maybe it's just because like you favor the people that look like you, you know? Maybe. And I've, and because of that now, I mean, I've come around on that now because I like battled on KOTD and they're one of the best leagues in the fucking world. Yeah. And treat artists phenomenal, by the way. Um, but now I've realized that I've missed a whole like decade of KOTD rappers. Yeah. That are really fucking good. Like someone like me, I just got hip to Sharon like maybe like three years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's yeah. my own like kind of being closed off about it, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, for me coming up, like, like you know, I, I was watching like, you know, Math and, and, and Mook and Lux and them like, you know, in, in ninth grade or, or whatever. But like for me, what got me into battle rap was like the king of the that was like Pat Stay was Dope. like those types of because for me I mean you know I'm growing up and I'm just I'm I'm not relating sure. to like you know, you you love Calico because like he just says things that are really cool mm-hmm. I love Cal but Calico would not be my favorite because so many times I'll say stuff that like you know like that sounds like just terrible to go through but I can't really <laughs> relate to it so it's like it's really cool but I, I but it's not like. I, you know, I think there's a difference between just being like, I can't really relate to it. I still like it. And then, or, but then, or like looking down on it, being like, well, you're not even punching like that. That's yeah. where it becomes weird. But like for me, I, I've, I've gravitated earlier into the King of the Dot stuff just because like, I liked the approach of like making fun for me. Battle rap wasn't necessarily like a street, like, you know, originated in the streets. And like, mm. it's about that, like, like power dynamic for me. It's more of like a. I get a free ride to make fun of you and you can't do anything. All you can do is make fun of me. I love the making fun of thing yeah. more than the like, I'm a more of a man than you. That's dope. That's like, you know? just like the, it shows the diversity of battle rap. You yeah. I mean, I there's mean, like so tool. many different styles now of like how it reached me and how it reached you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you're saying you couldn't relate to shooting someone with bullets that came out of somebody? No, I don't think anyone can do that because I don't think it's possible. But like, <laughs> but I still, I still love, I still love those things. Like, like I still yeah. was like watching all that. But I think like just for like the thing that drew me in, there's like, oh, there's a part, there's something for me here was like the, the, like the making fun of like, you know, just like that, that aspect of it. So, um, this is cool. I'm really excited to get to show you Duh, this. But I'm glad we decided to do this because I'm, I'm getting hip to shit. Yeah. Honor, yeah. This cat is softer than okay, you. So All, right. All right. So anyways, Fresco, I don't think he's battled. He might have had one battle after this, but he, he took a very long break, then came back and did like two battles and just killed it. And now he is doing what we have failed to do. He's like gone on, like got like a real estate license and like, Fuck yeah. you know, hap- happily, you think he's crushing it. Um, this, this back, this was back when the source was good in 90, not, no. In 2005, no, yeah. 2012, <laughs> Dang, 2020. This guy's, guy's been good every fucking yeah. two years. Yeah. Source, you can chill, fam. Yeah, yeah, you don't exactly. have to be good every... Yeah. <laughs> you've been good for two decades. You yeah. can chill, all right? It's insane. Um, I already can tell I'm not going to like him because of the shirt. Yeah, well, no, here's the thing. He's he's a very good looking man, and everyone <laughs> growing up, like, like coming up, everyone called him gay because he was just like, you know, dressed... Like I don't Things know, fit. yeah, uh, like yeah, like you know, just a good-looking guy. So you're okay. like, all right, what are you doing? It's yeah. gross. Battle um, for ugly people, man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So it's <laughs> you blow up when battles had DJs, but can't rap to a beat. That's like a professional break dancer that can't move his feet. <laughs> ugly dude with freestyles. They're like, that dude is heat. But this is a written battle filmed in HD, which is bad news for Pete. <laughs> and my lines are really. <laughs> My lines will be the only lines they quote from it. So this won't be a battle where the fans can say we both stunted. I wrote something, pass it to your girl, now she's so blunted. She gonna give me a little face like the old hundreds. (laughs) Red, white, and green diamonds like Italian ice. Shorty's so wet on the phone, she need a bag of rice. (laughs) Shit. White and green diamonds like Italian night. Shorty's so wet on the phone, she need a bag of rice. You ain't been popping for a while like a can of slice. Seasoned fans took me, so they booked me for the added spice. Now I ain't even wanna, I ain't even wanna use this bar for Pete, but he lives in the desert, so we should be used to all this heat. So from Cancun to a sand dune, I roll up on dude and park the Jeep, ready to dump the cans in his buggy like a supermarket sweep. He does it. It's a very similar thing to Mr. Biscuit, where it's like that old grind time thing where it's all like four bars, but the multis are so impressive. For me, like yeah. from like a nerd perspective, I'm like, God, like just I, I just I love the way he builds it all up and mm-hmm. the, the the punches. It's so um I, I don't know. It, it's a very similar style to Mr. Biscuit with like the, the the rhyming and the the way they set things up. Um, but it's yeah, it's 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 cool. Do you People think don't... his shirt snaps between his legs? 
God, it's a bad shirt, man. It's a bad shirt. But, I mean, I wore a bad shirt like this when I about Sway. I was like, it was a. It was, was that tight? It was a, it, yeah, it was way tighter because I I never look at myself, so I, I didn't even like for me for me picking out clothes. All I care about is that there doesn't have writing on it that you could flip. And so like I remember getting to my hotel and looking at my clothes, going, oh, I didn't think about like an outfit because I just don't think about yeah. that. And I'm like, this might be a little bit tight. And then uh, sure Let's enough, see it's can like, we pull it up. Can we see uh, it? What did I look like for Sway? Uh, I don't know the Darrell is too much. But yeah, I'm yeah. Okay, let's that. let's see. Let's see. It was All that right. tight? The first it was, it was pretty tight. I'm sure. Well, yeah. It was. It was. It was. It was unflattering it was like it was a let's see there's probably something anderson versus sway this is my this is my caffeine debut oh okay uh, so you, you did you hosted our face off man oh like, fuck yeah uh, okay this is it yeah oh that's not so, no oh, that's not so bad i'm not playing no game yeah i'm a true killer like bruce jenner you can lose your career just by saying my name to jerome <laughs> this is okay Rock. this is yeah. passable All it's right. not as bad as fresco i can see yeah. fresco's heartbeat yeah 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 but also fresco's in a lot better shape than me so like like this is like this book more like he he has like the th- I don't know. Averb, one of the, my favorite Averb insults he ever did to me, I think, because he went on like a, like a 40 minute rant about my outfit for that battle. Um, so it started like our friendship on such a you know, strong note. But he, he said. Did <laughs> Averb not get along? No, he hates me. Are you uh-huh. serious? He ha- I love him. He hates me. He hates me so much. And I, I think he's a hilarious character for battle rap because I think it's just so funny that he's gay and also homophobic. But like, <laughs> like I think, but he, 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 I- he went on a rant, bro. He went on a rant about it was so it was how how that outfit was a sign of white privilege because as a white guy, I walk into stores thinking every shirt is made for me. <laughs> Wait, was he serious or no, was he joking? A thousand percent. It was like an it was, it was like a, goat, it was like an bro. Umar Johnson like lecture. <laughs> he there was not that's what was so funny. There wasn't a hint of like there was no he was like really serious. And, like, that's you can't so disrespect funny. the goat, man. Verb's the goat. You don't get along with Verb. <laughs> no, 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 no. He 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 hates me. He I hates fuck me. Fuck with Verb, bro. Yeah. On like a marketing perspective and the way he raps. Verb, I mean I can't believe you guys don't get along, man. No, I, I no. guess he has strong opinions, but it's Verb. He's a legend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't dislike Verb. Verb, Verb really dislikes me, <laughs> but like it's cool. Like I think Verb's great because I really like. Oh, there's that. There's that <laughs> thumbs up thing. Uh, I think I think Verb is really good because he's, he's great for battle rap. He's a character, um, and I just think that's like really fun. Like we need like those villains. Um, like when he tweeted that he that he was a uh, he was a uh, he was a uh, Verdolf Hitler, and. And his name is A Verb, and like A is like A Y E Dolph Hitler was right there, but he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't make the connection, and he just compares himself to Hitler, and it's just it's just a thing Verb does. Verb, <laughs> Verb, I'm sorry from the slept on show. I fuck you, Verb. I do too, bro. I do too. And I think he's opinions, hilarious. Are his opinions? Yeah. Okay. Adam's just gonna have to make his own apologies a couple episodes later. When I, I guess talk so, about man. Certain people. I guess so, man. Verb, I fucks with you. I, I, you and Anderson gotta patch it up. I he don't said dislike it's my him. Privilege because you're <laughs> <It's> sure. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be wrong. <laughs> that was so good, man. I'm like, God, that's a really great oh, point. Man. That's Shout a great point. Man, Verb. Yeah. I got I to gotta do a deep dive into you and Verb's feud. Yeah, man. man. It's good. I, I mean, I, re- I remixed his voice into a rap. Like, I I, I remixed his, like, his, yeah. I sampled his voice, made a beat out of it, and rapped over it. I took Daylight and Averb and oh, yeah, made a beat. You. Oh, he, he was, you. yeah. He was, he was not happy. Just block up or let the tech ring silent. Maybe more on pro-choice, but fuck your left-wing bias. Now, that was a tech, that was a check swing. But this next thing's violent, I'm about to open up on him like an X-Wing pilot. My connect always good. My connect always good. I got extra bandwidth and a second plan for anything the weapons can't fix. I got money changing hands like Mega Man's fist. The watch got to... Oh, God! I want to punch him Fire. I got money changing hands like Mega Man's fist. The watch got a second hand. You got a second hand wrist. He about to, he about to face another blemish. This the worst you get sweeped. Ashes get swept under the rug like it hurts to give grief. Super soak a backpack. Squirt the kid brief. Plus they love me in the hood like the first and fifteenth. <laughs> Hood was not there to 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 to, to, to co-sign that, but it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool to it. What also I like about Fresco that I, we we haven't seen other people really do is um is he's not running anything back really unless he oh, absolutely has to, point. and I like that a lot. I purposely hate when I do that when I watch a battle back. I'm yeah. Like, okay, just keep rapping through it. I hate watching yeah. myself do it. It's a good point. Yeah. So like you know that's something that I really like. Get ahead. 
I'll be, I be at the same, I be at the same health club where his chick belong. She catching pheromones from me at the liftathon, yoga mat down. Let her suck me like a twisty straw. Watch she whip her hair back and forth like Dixie Kong. I take her, I take her to the second gym like Misty Gone and make a movie that starred me. That's not Digimon. No acapella, hey, no acapella group, but he gonna know what kind of shit we on when he hear that ooh going just like a 50 song. No GPS tracking, but I'm getting peach traced. They have to set up a perimeter and get police tape. That mean I chalk this boy out. You wanna get a clean slate. I cook him a couple minutes at a time like a kid cuisine plate. Going to <laughs> Fuck! I go into black ops mode. Now I'm in his team base. He will not see zombies, but I get his team chased. Warhammer, 40Ks without the figurine paint. He get ratchet after ratchet like he did a speed date. <laughs> Is he yeah. Okay, so is, is he active? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, he's not rapping still. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. All right. No. Put him in a deep space and pitch a bird out the whip like they did in Speed Race. 18 carrots on the wrist with the winter green face and just looking at it giving you that Listerine taste. I also really like him because he's a white guy who does the very difficult thing that all white guys want to do, but some of us know we can't get away with it, where it's like you're talking kind of the, the you're talking the money, the street, you're talking kind of like goods, but you can get away with it because there's something about you're leaning into it just the right amount where huh. it's like you can kind of get away with it. Because he's like, again, he's like, it's like a good looking dude and like, you know, he probably like does somewhat well. There's something about it that like he can rap a certain way that like I couldn't rap. And, and like where like you're you're talking about success and stuff that's like it's not as corny as when other people try to do it. I feel it. Yeah. Uh, and the source literally has the Listerine face right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a great point. Yeah. Um, give me is okay as the white rapper as the white rapper plug. Yes. What other white rappers can get away with that? Are there any? Sharon can okay. slightly get away with that because also he's on like Wild and Out, so like he could say he's like worth a billion dollars, and we're like, you know, maybe who knows? You know, who knows okay. what he's making? Right. So like, Philly. yeah, and Mike then, P. Oh god, I mean, you know, I don't like Mike P. Uh, but Mike, oh, you don't get along with Mike, Mike P. either, dude. Yeah, it's been, that's been a whole long. That's been a what's not just years in the making. Addison, you got ops. Bro. I got ops, man. Absolutely, I'm well, super I nice to him in person. It's oh, not was like it the T top thing on stage. Yeah, yeah, and I've always just made fun of him. Like I just, I just think he's just, he's just, he's just the funniest I, little goober. I can't believe I'm gonna have to look both ways now because you got because I did a podcast with you and and you got beef with Verb and Mike P. Yeah, it's not beef. Like again, if I see them in person, I'm super nice to him. Mike's Mike's nice too. I just like making fun of him because he cries in the shower every day. Um, but he he oh he a thousand percent does. He know, he absolutely cries every day. Every day he will cry for some reason. There'll there'll be some reason and he will cry. Um, but we gotta add a disclaimer. Yeah, on my side of the screen. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ederson's thought. Usually it's like I, I'm the person that says this shit. No, 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 no. I got I got a list, man. This I got is why a list. this is the perfect combination. Yeah. Wait, who else is on the list? You got ops. Bro. This, this, on the this is the top two, list. honestly, man. This is the top two. Okay. So the top right. two. Um, but yeah, no, Mike, Mike Pete, Mike can probably get away with it a little bit. Um, but, uh, I think that the, the Fresco, Fresco is a really good example of like, and Pat obviously is like, Pat was like the oh, prime yeah. example yeah. of like, he could do whatever and it's like, oh yeah, it works. So that's. For trying to get a buzz off my shit, get you smacked with a fly swatter. I stay splashing this bitch like she rapped in through white water. Back in school, I had the tool in the back of my guy's locker. County jail, a young boy got put in a pod like Anakin Skywalker. Look, he don't. It's like back of my guy's locker, Anakin Skywalker. Just that where it's like, it's just so Six. many multi. Back yeah. Of my guy's a locker. Like, and that's, and that's, it was a four bar Skywalker. build up where it's just like. God, it just sounds so yeah. cool, and mm -hmm. to be able to do this so effortlessly, it's just like, and to come because this was this was a return battle, and it was like he had been gone for like you know six years at that point or something. Crazy, and it's like you don't yeah. need breaking news to see action from live choppers. For me, it was always on site, even scrapping my eye Same doctor. Same His bitch on my album. <laughs> It was always on site, even scrap of my eye doctor, Anakin Skywalker. Like that, that's just like. Back of my guy's locker. Yeah. Crazy. No! Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For me, it was always on site, even scrap of my eye doctor. His bitch on my album cover. Alex Summers from all the havoc that I've caused her, but I've been through that bitch's wall so many times that I'm actually night crawling. Oh, my God. You know when you're in 
suppressing the source with your mouth you're doing a really good job. I'm pissed off at people even thinking the match was even. I mean, I should rerun my rounds because this is a classic beating. I'm like Popeye the Sailor. I'm gripping a can and squeezing, talking out the side of your mouth. Gonna get you the Bambi treatment. I brought the thumper in the club. Now it's switching to rabbit season. If he bugs, I get him smoked like Yosemite Sam was creeping. Okay, this is the one time I break my rule where I'm like, dude, Schemes? this scheme is so good because he, it's not even the scheme, it's the scheme and the rhyme scheme that he does and he's punching with it. Just scheming mm. is like one of the ingredients of this whole thing where it's like, again, the multis in this are disgusting and, and, and like all the little punches, like, you know, talking out the side of your mouth will get you the Bambi treatment. Like the way he's connecting it all is mm. so intricate. It's like, God. Look, Morris will catch a flashback like he's sitting in class and dreaming while I'm at his bayside high like Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Yeah, bro, like that whole thing rhyming is just, while I'm at his bayside high like Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Give him the thousand. Yosemite Sam was creeping, tipping the. I, 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 I should start. Just restart your whole shit. <laughs> Look, I'm pissed off at people even thinking the match was even. I should rerun my rounds. This is a classic beating. <laughs> they me up. <laughs> I'm like Pop. I'm like Popeye the sailor. I'm gripping a can and squeezing, talking out the side of your mouth. Gonna get you the Bambi treatment. I brought the thumper in the club. Now it's switching to rabbit season. If he bugs, I get him smoked like Yosemite Sam was creeping. Morris will catch a flashback like he's sitting in class and dreaming while I'm at his bayside high like Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Mario Lopez is in the building. This is your chance to meet him. The silencer is Andy Griffiths whistling back to greet him. This, look, this is Aladdin dreaming. I'm wishing we had a reason. I just had to get a couple bands off him before giving him back his freedom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good performance. I would say it's the greatest performance by a shirtless battle rapper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that, Jack boy. Um, <laughs> Fresh we never gave so him the crap he deserved for, for, for doing that. For me, I've always been, I love Jack Boy. I think he's, a, he's an awesome guy. I've always thought it was so funny to take your shirt off before a battle. I've always thought that's like the, that's the riskiest thing anyone's ever done. The type of confidence that requires just oh be like, nah, gosh. bro, I'm just going to go out there shirtless. Yeah. Shout out to Jack Boy. Man. That's just, it's incredible. Um, this dude looks like Freddie Prince Jr. for real. Like, Yeah, he looks like a lot of good looking celebrities from like the 90s. <laughs> like... This yeah. is dope, man. I'm glad I finally got hip to him. Because yeah. I'm just getting hip to... I mean, I've, the big names in KOTD I'm hip to. But, like, I just battled on KOTD for the first time, like, maybe four or five months ago. Yeah. So I'm kind of, like, doing backtracking all of the white MCs I might have missed out on. Is he Canadian? Uh, no, I think... I think uh, no, no, no. I think, I think he's, he's American. And it's a good reminder to wash your clothes on cold temp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will shrink three sizes. <laughs> it's insane, bro. It's insane. You can tell he died it he did a diet before this battle and was like, this is gonna this is gonna this be good. Fit. This, this was a wedding good. dress for him. Yeah, it hit my goal weight. Yeah. This shit. <laughs> it is he looks like a live strong bracelet. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Shout out to Fresco, yeah, man. man. Shout out to Pete, who's been good for fucking ever. Yeah. KOTD, I'm sorry I slept on y'all. I had weird stuff going on when I was younger, man. I'm glad that I'm good. Yeah. My... And like Dead Man's there too. Yeah. Right? Were you big? Were you a fan of Dead Man? It, it was. I, I never really got into him. I feel um, it. I feel it. I you feel know. It. Um, what episode are we on, man? This, we're, is, uh, this was this episode is two, two. Yeah. In our nines. Yeah. In our so nines. We got eight coming up. Any parting words, man, before we get to a, another episode of this? No, no. I hate Averb and Mike B, apparently. That's, 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 that's the summer. I thought, man, I'm I don't North hate Carolina. either one of them. I just, I just like Mike up with Anderson. He doesn't have ops. See, there's yeah. only like two people in Battle Rap that I could do a, a pod with that don't have ops. I yeah. thought you were one of them. Yeah, no, 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 man. I've been in this too long. <laughs> I've made too many promo videos that just piss people off, so <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. I, Anyone that I have a problem with is someone that can't take a joke. Yeah, that's all it is. If you can't take a joke, I'm gonna come after you, and like I'm going to, I'm gonna make it a problem. You thinking that every shirt fits you is a little bit of privilege. <laughs> it's a wild. It's, it is a little bit. Of privilege. It put me in my place so much. I'm, like, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna respond. This is really it's a great good. Insult. Yeah, yeah it's a great insult. Yeah, got me on that one. That was a great one. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. This is episode two of Slipped On. We're getting down to number one, man. I'm already getting hip to some uh, battle rappers. I haven't hipped. Uh, Anderson to any yet because I think mines are more mainstream mm -hmm. but I'm interested to see the next episode man we appreciate you guys tuning in yeah